It is a fact that the economic hardship in the country is the first of its kind in many, many, many years. For that matter, unprecedented. The average person in Ghana today is much poorer than before. Ghanaians are unable to cope with the current cost of living. They are unable to fill their gas cylinders. They are unable to afford transport fares and unable to afford fuel, even though we are a fuel production nation. The prices of fuel keep on increasing every day. Even today, the price of fuel has increased. The fluctuating exchange rates of the dollar. Our imported and businessmen are struggling because of the free fall of our local currency. Yet we were being told by Dr. Mahmoud Ibamiya during the MPP celebration of its maiden 100 days in office that the dollar has been arrested and the keys handed over to the ITP. Now one needs about five Ghana CDs for one dollar. Five CDs for a dollar. I'm sure he now knows that the, 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 the dollar, the CD is on bail. <laughs> yes, the CD is on bail now. The dollar has a mind of its own and it's not a respecter of Dr. Baumia. What has happened to the lengthy economic lectures and forum from the Oxford trained economist, Dr. Baumia, my elder brother? Where are the answers to the 170 so-called economic questions on Ghana's economy? What is happening to our Ghana cities, Ghanaian banks, under the most intelligent and competent economists who almost tend to a self-acclaimed profit of Ghana economic fundamentals? One thing is obvious. Too and poor is good for examination purpose, but very bad for the world of practice. Moreover, the two you deny in opposition will certainly confront and expose you in government. Does Dr. Baumia now understand what his elder brother, former President John Mahamama, meant when he admonished him? Tread cautiously, because you don't, he does not know what it takes to be president. Interesting time. If your fundamentals are weak, the exchange rate will expose you according to Dr. Mahmoudou Bamiya.